What's up guys, welcome to your 178th Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to do in this tutorial, we're basically going to draw our triangle to the screen. Well, we're actually going to look at our triangle because it's already drawn there, we just have to find it. And in the last tutorial, again, all we did is we just set up our viewport, we set up like, um, you know, what, where we want it to be visible and all that good stuff. And now we're actually going to basically tell our camera to look at a specific point and we also want to set it to model mode so what we're going to do within our on draw frame is after we you know call the clear method we're just going to say uh, gl dot gl matrix mode again oops gl matrix mode and this time we're going to set it equal to the gl 10 class dot gl underscore model mode and then what we're going to do is we're just gonna, again going to call that load identity uh, methods. So we're just going to say gl uh, load identity. And now what we have to do is we have to tell our camera where we want it to be in 3D space and which direction we want it to look. So how we're going to do that is we're going to refer to a class called glu, and we're just going to say dot glu um, dot glu look at, and the first parameter it just takes in which GL object we're looking at GL 10 object again that's what's being passed into our class and then we have to set where we want the camera where the eye level is going to be so what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, we want it to be on the x-axis so we're just going to set that equal to be 0 um, the y-axis 0 the z-axis we're going to pull the camera back into basically us you know not into the screen but away from the screen so we're going to see like negative five or something like that then we have to tell where we want it to look at again our triangle was pretty much in the center so we're just gonna say zero 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 um, basically the origin of our 3d space and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna set our up values to zero then like two and zero something like that um, and now when we render it it's basically setting our camera up again at this position zero zero negative five and it's looking in this direction and uh, you know that's how we kind of set it up and then we're going to draw our triangle so let's make sure it works real quickly so as you can see it kind of looks um, <clears throat> kind of looks a little bit off but uh, that's fine for now and I kind of want to just show you guys that example because we set up our frustrum a little bit differently than we should be right here we have we've kind of skewed our bottom and our top a little bit so just to change that we're going to change this to one so we have a negative one bottom and a negative or a plus one top and now let's render it and see how that looks so again G open GL you can kind of render stuff pretty much however you'd like you can set up the camera you can set up you know the perspective that it's at all that good stuff and it's pretty you know pretty impressive and there we go we have a better rendered triangle where it's not kind of skewed and it's not you know up higher it's kind of more balanced in the center so there we go it looks a little bit better so um, I'd recommend you guys just playing around with some of the values that we set up and see if you can get look in the way that you want again we can move our our uh, let's say we want to move our Z value back to negative 10 that'll kind of look like it's scaled down or you know we're further away and just quickly I want to show you one more render uh, for this tutorial and then we'll either get into texturing this triangle or we'll get into um, 3d programming uh, with a square of some sort and as you can see again we're zoomed further back out before we were at negative 5 and now we're at negative 10 and again we set up this z value to re refer to anywhere from you know 1 away to 25 away so if we went up to like negative 24 or you know even let's let's go negative 30 it won't even appear on our screen and as you can see when we're at negative 30 it's not even appearing on our screen because that's of the frustrum that we set up we only had it within you know 25 away so if we if we did something more like you know 23 negative 23 it's gonna be really small but at least we can still see it um, but if we move further than that uh, frustrum value that we set up in our Z direction um, Z far then you know it's not going to render if we go further than that distance so there's a little bit more explanation on the frustrum and uh, see that now we can still see the triangle is far away but if it goes any further back or you know actually it could probably go one further back but 
If it goes further than that, it's just going to not even render that triangle. We aren't going to worry about it. So that's kind of what the frustrum did that we set up in the last tutorial. Again, we're just setting our camera here so we can even change perspectives, um, you know, like moving up five as well or something like that. Again, I just play around with the values, get comfortable with these commands and these methods that we set up, and try and render it the way that you'd like. Um, but we'll get into some more methods, um, what we can do, how we can like rotate around this object and all that good stuff. Uh, as for now, we're probably done and we're going to start building our cube, I'm guessing. So I'll see you guys then. Have a good one.